you know, a, a strange story. Murder, depression, the, the year of the depression, a, a runner away from slavery, and the Ku Klux Klan kept my mother and father together and raised a, 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 a really nice, honest family. Uh, they, they've sacrificed a lot uh, for us and we were, we were rotten kids compared to what they sacrificed for us, but uh, my father killed a Ku Klux Klan guy and they ho hoisted him off to uh, Chicago. Before he left, uh, his wife, as my mother, went on the, uh, the run with him. And, and if you want to call it murder or whatever, it was just, no, it was a Ku Klux Klan and, and a tough-ass black, <laughs> black man. It wouldn't take nothing. And he was protecting his wife. And he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm talking about the Ku Klux Klan guy. And uh, so uh, the community ships him off to uh, him and mama off to Chicago and, and they're like me or I try to be like them. There is not a day I don't try to move into something that makes me uncomfortable so I can uh, uh, experience it and not uh, uh, not for that to hit me blindsided in the, in the time that I don't need it to. And, and I say that is uh, getting on the road uh, coming here 2,000 miles away uh, at night. Uh, I'm, I'm high off of cocaine. I don't really exactly know where I'm going, but it's west and it's good enough for me. And uh, But I was going to El Paso to see things that I used to do, um, take care of million dollar, trillion dollar equipment. Was trusted to do that without a doubt. And uh, uh, things were told for me to do. I did it, and I I, I suffered with the uh, the tremendous heat in, in uh, El Paso, and uh, uh, staying out in the field is different when uh, when you're a missile crewman. You stay out in the field, you know, and uh, you're you're around a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of wildlife. Uh, since it's so quiet out there, we're supposed to we're not be talking and all loud like a party. Uh, most people uh, could drive uh, half a block from us in the desert and wouldn't even know we were there. You know, we don't see them before they see us. And uh, the old times where uh, we were getting buzzed by the uh, F-16s, I believe, that the, the same plane that uh, uh, McCain deemed unairworthy, that he's selling to Iran because he got some kind of million-dollar... Uh, uh, donation to him. Now y'all got to really read between the lines on that. Those are going to be the same planes to drive down or fly down the streets of downtown New York, downtown uh, Chicago, and you're going to wonder where they came from. You're going to think that they're U.S. Uh, fighters or something, but can you imagine the devastation of one jet coming down and and uh, using a minigun and uh, uh, Stinger missiles downtown? you could topple some, the Sears Tower, and the Sears Tower could tear up every living thing uh, uh, three blocks uh, span, you know, and, uh, and whatever else they're gonna shoot, a dirty bomb and stuff, but Mr. McCain uh, comes from uh, Arizona. He's a warmonger, cause he, he just, they beat his ass while he was a prisoner of war or something, and probably fucked him too. And uh, he just, he just relentless and, and uh, uh, he on uh, he talking about Obama one minute. He talking about Trump the other minute, and then he go in and have to kiss Trump's uh, suck his dick because he he don't know if he gonna get picked or not. So he go in there and tell me I'm not gonna answer any questions, and so he come.